We're going to the fucking moon, boys. Woo! Dude, we're going to the moon. You know, fucking, we're going to Neptune. We're going to fucking Jupiter. We're going to travel the fucking planets, bro. We are going to the moon, baby. GameStop, AMC, Dogecoin. We're going to the fucking moon. Dude, all these old farts in their hedge funds are so upset by Wall Street bets. They're so upset by these fucking kids on Reddit that are literally torching them for billions of dollars. It is the funniest thing. They are so salty. It, it, it is so amazing. Personally, yes, I didn't buy in on GameStop. I didn't buy in on, Am on AMC, but I did buy in on Dogecoin, and we're getting Dogecoin to a dollar. Fucking somehow, some way. Don't take financial advice from me. I'm just explaining, and I'm gonna try to explain the situation, but uh, don't quote me. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to say something wrong and then have people take my word for it. So basically, about a week ago, these guys on Reddit called Wall Street Bets um, devised a plan that would help the common man, and their goal was is that these old people have these hedge fund accounts. And hedge fund accounts, to my knowledge, is where you basically buy in to bet on a stock that you expect it to go down and when the stock goes down you make money so their goal was to take a stock that a bunch of people had invested in with their hedge funds and boost the stock forcing the people with hedge funds to lose money so when the stock started to go up with people buying GameStop basically it forced all the people with hedge funds to then buy GameStop as well to cover their costs because they expected it to go down so it kind of creates this perfect storm of regular people buying GameStop and all these people in hedge funds buying GameStop and it raised the price for GameStop stock from $5 a share to at one point over $400 a share which is insane some of these people are making millions and some of these people are losing billions after this started happening people not people the, the people that with the hedge funds got super upset uh, because they think it's market manipulation and you're not allowed to do this when in all reality It's completely legal people can buy and sell whatever stock they want just like they do So they didn't stop at GameStop though next stop was AMC So they started doing it to AMC and the cycle just kept on going and these people lo were losing so much money that actually Robinhood, which is a trading uh, app for stocks, stepped in and stopped you from buying their stock or stopped them from buying GameStop stock and from buying uh, AMC stock, which is not legal. That's illegal. That, that, that that's that's not how it's supposed to work. So then Robinhood started getting um, lawsuits against them for not letting people buy and sell whatever stocks they want. Basically, they're suing them for market manipulation, and that's what the hedge fund people were accusing the Reddit people and just everyday people of was mar market manipulation, which isn't which isn't what was happening. Um, so these people are scrambling, trying to cut their losses or do whatever they got to do. And it's just so funny because that clearly shows with them trying to stop you from buying certain stocks that the stock market is rigged. They only want it so only certain people can win. Only certain people can make money. That being the, really the, the the rich people that have their hedge funds. The stock market I feel like is rigged for the for the men in suits, the billionaires, the millionaires to win and rigged for the common man, the everyday person who's not a millionaire or billionaire to lose. And that's just not fair. That's not a free market. That is not fair. That is market manipulation. And um, so then the people started moving on to cryptocurrency, more more specifically Dogecoin, which is a complete like meme of a currency. But they were trying to get Dogecoin, which is worth like a cent or two, to over a dollar per share using the same exact tactic. The people, these people tell you to invest in the stock market and do this and do that with your money. But the second that it goes wrong for them, they think it's not fair or it's illegal or what have you be. It's like just just because the market isn't set up to to um for you for it to be rigged for you to win all the time doesn't mean it's not illegal you're just privileged that you've had it that way the whole time you've been in it so basically i just kind of wanted to make a video about this today because it's like the most insane thing right now and if you're on social media you kind of can't escape it it's all over twitter it's all over tiktok and all this stuff and it, it's just insane because this is a once in a lifetime thing like i don't think something like this will happen again so i just really want to make a video about it and uh like, like I said, don't take any advice from me on what to do with your money if you're in stock market. Please do not, because I am not a financial advisor. I am a fucking idiot that makes YouTube videos. I'm sure with all this is going on, I'm sure there's going to be a documentary about this one day. Because this is one of the craziest things to happen in the United States, like, just stock-wise. This is absolutely insane. Just a bunch of kids from Reddit decided to say, hey, fuck it, we're going to dump some money into this GameStop stock and make all these 
billionaires sweat about them losing some money for once in their life. It's like, it's honestly justice, and it's not really about the money. It's about sending a message. Like, these people, like, if this doesn't show you that the stock market is rigged and there's something wrong with it, then I don't know what will. This is about sending a message being like, hey, this isn't fair. And, you know, I don't have a lot invested in this whole Dogecoin, Dogecoin thing. I got, like, 15, 15 bucks invested. I have nothing in anything else. It's... It's really I'm I'm not putting myself at that much risk because I I don't I don't assume this will last long. The, the, they're gonna find some way to shut it down. I don't know how, but they will find a way. So you know I, I I'm not gonna you know invest too much money into this. This is a one in a lifetime thing. I don't think something like this will ever happen again. Um, I hope they prove me wrong because this is amazing and I love seeing it happen. But I just thought while it's happening, the one time I gotta get involved somewhat. Join a team that's raping. Oh, my God, what a streak, man! Batman, Batman. Nope, no, fuck. Yeah, I kind of popped off 50 and 21. I had that nasty streak in there. Not a bad game. Anyways, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and uh, yeah, this one was a fun one to make. Uh, if you guys have anything involved in it, please let me know. I want to know what you guys have involved in it, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.